Hello there, this is Jimmy the Fontmeister, and today we thought it would be interesting to see what if we demonstrated what life is like for somebody who opened Photographer for the very first time. Let's do it. Let's say you went to the file menu and opened a brand new empty font. Well, one of the first things that you'd want to do is go to the Photographer preferences and make sure your preferences are set to do things like show you when there's uh, open paths or something wrong with your points. And be sure to check out our video on uh, importing artwork into Photographer for details on this subject. Another good idea is go to the Element Font Info menu. And make sure you have a unique name for your font. And also check the dimensions. Now the M square is this little box that the character sits in and for a type 1 font it's normally going to be a thousand for a true type font it's going to be 2048 while you're here for beginners you're probably going to want to use uh, a code page here of uh, Windows 1252 ANSI for a PC and for the Mac usually you're going to be using Mac OS Roman let's assume you'd already drawn or scanned some characters and placed them into the photographer font window once the glyphs are in the font, your next step is going to be to get the metrics right. So one of the first things you're going to do is to set a guide here for the cap height and also for your X height of your lowercase characters. This is to make sure the font doesn't look funny. You want to make a set of characters like look like they all belong together. Now in the words of Gunlanger Brim, the creator of the Brim script font family, if you space a font correctly, there will be less need to edit the kerning. Spacing is the position of the glyph within the M square. We won't go into details here, but the first place to stop is going to be on the metrics auto space screen. We'll just use the defaults here, and you can see that the side bearing has moved over. This will get you in the ballpark, and the next stop is going to be auto kerning. Once you've done your kerning, you just go ahead and check your results in the metrics window. You can check out our tutorial on metrics for details, but let's just suffice it to say that here is where you can get a real feel for what the font is going to look like when it's installed. Now, most people use words like LO, LO, hamburger fonts, and a variety of words that they type here in the little text box to see what the font will look like. Also, you can check typical kerning pairs like WA, SI, SO, etc. Let's just assume that you're in love with all these results and we can move on to finishing this font so we can get it installed and see what it looks like in the real world. Always be sure to go to the File menu and select Save As and Save a Photographer Database File. You'll always be able to get back where you started if something goes wrong. I know all of this is a lot to remember, but once you think you're ready, take a deep breath and then go to the File, Generate Font menu. Maybe for your first font, you may want to just play it safe and pick an easy font like a true type and you've created yourself a work folder to save the fonts in and you're ready to generate it and then install it. Now on the PC all you do is go to the control panel open up the fonts control panel and select install new font. On the Mac it's not very wise to use a font manager until you're sure that your font is working properly. When testing fonts on the Mac Install them by dragging the font into the user library fonts folder. Well, that's about it for making your first font. Keep practicing and soon you'll be ready to tackle some bigger projects. And as always, let us know if there's some other topics you'd like to see covered in this series. Refer to the Photographer User Manual for detailed information. And drop us an email, uh, support at fontlab.com, if there's anything we can clarify for you. By virtue of the fact that you have completed this project, I hereby proclaim you as a junior cadet fontmeister. Welcome to the club of dedicated font designers. <laughs>